what's up guys welcome to another video i hope you guys are all doing good uh in this video we're going to break down the raw attractive power that all men have that women won't admit they feel so without further ado guys let's get straight into this glorious video hello guys it is me victoria okay so for today's video i want to talk about something very personal i've wanted to make a video about this for a while but it's embarrassing and extremely personal and honestly makes me vulnerable and it's something i do not like to tell anyone all right but i feel it could be a very interesting video topic and very useful to certain people out there mainly guys heterosexual guys i'm talking about heterosexual people in this video all right so you know how heterosexual guys they see a girl differently than like a girl sees herself okay so let's see let's say like when guys go to a strip club versus like when girls go to a strip club when girls go to a strip they're like woo and i'm talking about like female strippers right they're like woo this is so much fun oh my god we love you and like you're amazing and like they're giggling and they're having so much fun right when guys go it's kind of more serious because guys are feeling the feminine energy if you will a bit more strongly than women are right the i understand what she means she means that if you as a man go to a strip club a girl is exuding a certain type of sexual energy which you which hypnotizes you and it's very dangerous because then you know your primal instincts start to kick in and then you become more more of an animal compared to being just a man. Their hormones have gone like insane and their hormones have given them like sex brain to the point where they're just almost out of control. Similarly, when I see a pair of boobs, I'm just like, okay, yeah, a pair of boobs, big whoop. I, very nice or whatever. Like, like when my boyfriend, for example, sees one, it's a totally different experience. I'm just like, I really don't get it, um, but that's kind of man goggles, you know what I'm saying? Men have a sexual energy, a male energy, too, that my point That I find very interesting to find out what a male sexual energy is because it's not the same as a woman you know when a woman is at a strip club and she is exuding that you know she can show her breast underwear it's like there's a lot that she can do she uses her body but the question is what do women find attractive in men in the same capacity as a stripper dancing on a pole probably only women can see and feel and reflect back to them and that they themselves, men, cannot really feel and see it in themselves. Now, the reason I had to make this video is because some of my male friends, like, they get really dejected and down because, you know, they they have not had much luck with women. And maybe women have made fun of them in the past and said, like, they're unattractive in these certain ways. And they feel there is something defective about who they are, that they are just somehow fundamentally unattractive. To women and I myself have rejected a lot of guys you know back when I used to date and I rejected a lot of guys for different reasons okay maybe this one was too shy maybe this one was too quiet how ironic right since I'm like the shyest and quietest among us all but um, maybe this guy he wasn't confident enough maybe this guy I didn't like his looks really that this is a reason why a lot of girls nowadays are single because they it's too much criteria. I get it like as a woman you're going to be pregnant and you're probably going to carry this man's seed so you have to test them. You have to test a man as a woman a lot. And uh in order to get there, I think you can't fail any test. You have to be perfect. But sometimes I just think it's stupid because I think every single woman should have like a list, maybe like of five things and not more than five. I mean, some of these girls lists go all the way up to 20, 100 things, which a guy can't do. And 
if a guy just breaks one of those things, oh, it gives me the ick, I'm done with that. It's, it's, it's a bit childish if you think of it. He wasn't like, you know, acting cool enough or something. Um, maybe this guy, he was kind of too like, like begging and stuff. And maybe this guy, he wasn't a good kisser. All these reasons that I rejected guys, all right? I still felt each of these guys attractive, power-ass guys. It's like they were doing annoying things, and they were doing things which I couldn't accept, that my high standards or whatever at the time would not let me accept them for. But I didn't think, I didn't ever for one second forget that they were still guys. For example, um, I had this male friend, all right, and I rejected him. Um, we were dating. One time he got really angry at me in like a joking way, all right? And he really let like his masculine power that I always sensed under the surface out. And I got really turned on. But of course I did not tell him that, okay? But if he knew that and he knew that, you know, he could bring that out more, he could use that against me. So, what is this masculine power? Um, it, it's it's difficult to put you know words to it, but it's it's an energy that all men have that's extremely powerful. It's raw. It's rough. It's the power of. There's this book, Mode One, okay, and it's kind of talking about this. I, I recommend you all read it. Basically, it said, if every man took a truth serum and he said exactly what he thought and he did exactly what he wanted and he kind of didn't give a fuck anymore um, and he said brutal, brutal, um, yeah, brutal, I guess, raw honesty about girls like you know instead of just being like you're beautiful if what he was really thinking was like oh my god I would love to just like throw you down on this couch and fuck you right now or whatever and it's like kind of raunchy and dirty but that was what he was honestly feeling that is attractive all right if he's angry and he acts angry that is attractive it's this power that men have that's just like I, I think I think I understand what she's trying to say. She's trying to say do not hold back. She wants to see the brute strength. She wants to see you just go for it. But this is the thing which is a little bit conflicting because as a man you can't you have to play a little bit of a blend because you can't do that, right? I understand exactly now I understand exactly what she's saying and I get it. I get it. Like as a woman, if you're passive and you come to her and you say like, now nah, we're going to do it. Like you show your strength and you're like, this is what we're going to do. And you assertive. Then she's like, whoa, as I'm decoding what she's saying, that is as I understand it. Right. It's almost like a lion when he roars. You're like, whoa. And you can hear it from miles away. Right. So I understand what she means, but it's almost like we have been so like beaten down as men that we can't do that anymore. If you honestly went around and said exactly what you felt about a woman, like some, some women will be able to take it, right? Some women will be like, oh my God, I'm very turned on by it. But you'd still get a form of rejection. Maybe not. Maybe this is, this is very, very interesting that she said this honestly. It's, it's a double-edged sword because this is the thing. I, the more and more women have taken space and taken opportunity and now it's 50-50. You can't be that guy anymore because some women like that and some women will tell you like, oh my God, I, I like it when you're aggressive and I like this and I, and I like you when you do all these like kinky shit, right? But if you look at a person like P. Diddy, and he's doing a lot of like crazy sexual shit and look at what happens after a while. So I, I would say 
it has to be in a very, very close environment that you do that. You can't just do it to any girl or just go to a girl and say like, I want to f*** you. Because if you say something like that, bro, you guys are going to get cancelled. Like, you're going to get like super cancelled. So you have, like as a guy right now, you have to move with caution. You can't just do whatever you think, whatever you feel. You have to be very, very careful. But anyway, guys, I thought that was very interesting. Leave it in the comment section what you guys think about it. Uh, do you think that this is something or this is a trait that we have lost? And we probably have to work on getting it back. Leave it in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.